The big news is the guy from Yves Saint Laurent, where he created billions of dollars of value. Is that right? Exactly. He's going over to Celine. What does Haiti? Heidi? Hedy Slaman. Hedy. Hedy Slaman. What does he mean for Celine? And more importantly, what's he mean for Zara? I think overall what Hedy Slaman means for Celine is an expanded customer base. Keep in mind he's going to be doing menswear in addition to women's wear there. And his unique tailoring of a look and a style that basically has a unique following should continue to grow the Celine franchise. It's exciting. It's exciting. In the, all of this, Gabriella, is, is you well know, is we watch what other people do like the Grammys. And that, it still goes back to the Devil Wears Prada, where Meryl Streep in that one moment says, are you kidding? People really care about this because it filters down. Is the luxury trickle down link, is it still there? It's there, but now you have something else. Besides just the product and the item, it's all about the experience, too. Because you're seeing the service elements. Look at the new business models that have been created. Everything from gyms like Soul Cycle to health and beauty, like what you have at Dry Bar for hair salons, to wine, dine, and recline with movie theaters like iPick. There's a new world out there, and it's about the activity of buying mm -hmm. married with the activity of doing. Um, Dana, let me jump off from the uh, Hedy Sleeman conversation with Celine about who will take over at Burberry. Now, Burberry, a huge listed company, Good probably question. one of the biggest, if not the biggest luxury company here in the UK, they're still waiting for a creative director. If Hedy Sleeman goes to Celine, are we going to see Phoebe Philo, Philo coming to Burberry? You may. I mean, the, the cast of characters that rotates in the luxury goods world is many. And Phoebe Philo has a very loyal following. We certainly know that over the next three to six months, we sh should be hearing about who the new creative director is at Burberry. Overall, when you think about creative directors, it can be 13 to 15 years that a brand has the same voice. And then it's time for change. So Christopher Bailey being at Burberry for 17 years, it is time for change.